Oh. The officials are ready. The fighters are in the ring. And they are ready. Fight fans, are you ready? For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and purple, official weight, 17 stone, 9 pounds. He holds the WBC International Silver Belt and has a perfect professional record, consisting of 16 fights, 16 victories, including 13 big wins by knockout, and his last 12 fights, all wins by KO. From Brixton, the undefeated Hillian, the body snatcher, <laughs> And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red, officially weighing in at 17 stone, seven pounds. Since capturing Olympic gold, he has a perfect professional record, 14 fights, 14 victories, 14 knockouts, and he holds the WBC International Championship. From London, the Olympic gold medal heavyweight fighting pride of the UK, the undefeated Commonwealth heavyweight champion, Anthony Joshua. Spoke to you both in the dressing room, you both know what I expect. Keep it clean, break straight away when told. Both of you want your heads in close, good luck to you both. Touch clubs. Howard Foster in charge of 35 stone of power and malevolence. This one has had a real bad edge about it. A lot of trash talking, a lot of nastiness. White trying to go Joshua. Joshua not taking the bait. Now it becomes very real indeed. Seconds out, first round. Officially for the Commonwealth and the vacant British title. But an awful lot on the line, personally for these two as well. White says he wants to expose Joshua as a fake. Joshua wants revenge for that defeat in the amateurs. And they've certainly come out fast, and White is certainly setting his stall out here. And if he does land one of those big, wide swinging hooks of his, let's see what happens. But at the moment, Joshua. Very watchful. Uh, I was like that White came out jabbing and we get to see what... Uh, oh, the Joshua knows him with a left hand. White in trouble already. The legs looked a little bit unsteady for a moment there. It was the left hook that did it. He's too reckless. He's got to take it to Joshua. You've got to think what you're doing. He's not thinking enough. He's far too reckless, White. Well, I think he came out jabbing. He was looking to establish the jab, but Joshua's now caught him. And we'll see how his mentality changes. But you can't match the Joshua for power. You can see the right hand that White's thrown. There's no real power behind it. He's not set himself properly. A great shot from Sees Joshua. Sees that right hand coming. Yeah, he can't get into this kind of fight with Joshua. He's got to stay behind the jab that he started the fight with. Regardless of the kind of success, just that jab, that, that at least will get, keep Joshua at bay in some ways. But he's, but he's not really a boxer, Paul. You know, that's, that's not what he's good. He's a powerhouse that gets people out of there. And I really don't see him uh, outboxing Joshua for any great length of time. He's got to use his power and try and get Joshua. Joshua hasn't been tested. He's got to test him. Of course, no. Joshua being an Olympian, of course, we know he can box. But at least what I'm saying is, if the Dillian White can keep using the jab, it'll keep Nailed Joshua again busy. With one of those left hands. For the second time, it's the left that's shaken Dylan White. Sorry to interrupt you guys, but you just get the sense that any second something could go off here. And again, a wobble. Again, it was the left. Good then the right comes Joshua. through. Joshua sticks his tongue out at White. White in survival mode here already. The legs don't look good at all. And Joshua just grins at him. And White is starting to come apart here already. 
White's got to hold. White's got to hold. He's got to hold. He's not doing it. He can't do it. He's still got nearly 45 seconds to get through here. Big swing and a miss from White. Oh, nice right uppercut up. ripping in there. White showing he's got a chin and a heart. But he can't fight like this for much longer. Can he even get through the first round? Joshua's got a big smile on his face. He walks him down. Can't miss him, can he? White just swinging and hoping. And Joshua smirking at him with contempt. Joshua is just in a different level from White, and there's no getting away from that. He's in a totally different level from White. Well, I'll tell you, it'll do White psyche a bit of good if he can hear that bell. He's really had to dig in here. That was a good minute of a barrage he had to sustain and get through there. Can he hear that bell? That in itself will be an achievement. You can see that he's got to clear some of the cobwebs. Look out and around. Well, that was Joshua hitting after the bell and White not having any of it. White's lost control. White has lost control completely. And what's happening here? Everybody's in the ring. Well, Everybody. I hope, I hope White doesn't want to get disqualified. He, he's a boxer. He knows discipline is required. And he uh, threw several punches after the bell. Uh, don't, don't tell me that he wants to be disqualified. Well, Jonathan, Bang out of Jonathan Banks has separated him, but some of his entourage, who we've never seen before, flew into that ring. And Banks is taking him by the hand and sitting him back down. Goodness know. knows who those guys were. I don't know if this many guys are allowed in the ring, right? They're not. They're not. <laughs> Under normal rules, somebody should be disqualified here. Listen, he was hit after the bell. There's no question about that. He reacted to that. You can't blame him. But he should not have continued to react to it. He would, he would still be throwing punches at Joshua now if they hadn't pulled him away. Yeah, I don't like that. Joshua can't set up his hurtful punches. Now, Howard Foster doing absolutely the right thing here and just taking the sting out of it, calming everybody tight and calming the two boxers down. And this crowd is getting super heated as well. And I like what Foster's doing. He's trying to take charge right now because at the end of that first round, he was in, he's in, he was in uh, at risking losing control of this fight. Yeah. I like what he's doing right now. And both boxers were at fault for what happened, don't forget. So, round two then of this 12-rounder. Of a fight that had plenty of nastiness attached to it already. And it spilled out there after the bell. You see what happens when White jabs at Joshua? He at least backs him up. Not to say that he's going to hurt him, but he keeps Joshua on the defensive in some ways. And it, at least it keeps Joshua from setting up his own powerful punches. Well, Jonathan Banks did a great job just calming his man down and protecting him there. Just pinned him in a neutral corner, then took him back, settled him down. And what Banks said, just to calm Dylan White down, and as you said, Paul, he starts off with a jab, but Joshua looking to tee off with those big, solid shots of his. I'd like to see Joshua return the jab, though. You know what I mean? He's, I think Joshua's too too, uh, too reliant on the on the power shot. I know he hurts him, but I'd like to see Joshua start jabbing back at White. I think in the heavyweight division, if you can come through the other guy's power, then it's just a matter of time, and I think that's the problem for White at the moment. Joshua can come through his power, come through what he's got, and it's, uh, it's a matter of time. I would like to see White trying a real solid right hand. He's going to have to take chances because he is not going to get himself into this fight any other way. But can you take a chance against Anthony Joshua? He's got to get off the ropes right now. You don't want to be there with Anthony Joshua. White trying to do just that. Joshua, big right uppercut, followed up with a straight left, the legs wobbled again. And again, Dylan White threatening to unravel here. But Joshua's picking him up as the guard drops a solid, crunching right hook. White can certainly take the punch, oh, one, and he shook Joshua. Joshua. He shook Joshua. Joshua's hurt. Joshua's in big trouble. Massive turnaround here. White going for it. White's got to be careful on to punch himself out, though. This is what Both I mean, Paul. You've got to use your own power when you're fighting a man who's untested. Test his chin out, and White's done that. Big right hand from White. He was like a wounded animal. Back to the ropes. He had nowhere to go. Nothing to do except fight, and he threw a big shot. And it landed. It was all or nothing. And Joshua, for the first time in his career, as a professional, shaken. And, as the, and he's 
Breathing hard again after that body shot. That was a nice body shot, by Really by was. Way. They don't call him the body snatcher for nothing, I guess. So Joshua. And Josh, I want to see Joshua get on the jab, though. He's still not really using the jab. I want to see that jab from Joshua. He's a big man. Establish the length. Joshua has never that been in this again. situation before. He's never had to fight. You know, he's who's having to fight tonight. Yeah, you don't want to lose control. Get on the jab. Do what got you here. Do what won you that Olympic gold medal. And he's been hurt tonight. There's another one of those body shots that White got him with earlier. They've both been shaken and they've both gritted their teeth and dug it out. What a round this has been. Joshua not looking good on his legs at all, and White continuing to work the body. Good body shots by it White. Really Great comeback was. round by Dillian White, I gotta say. But Joshua survives the first crisis of. Talking to from Jonathan Bates. Anthony Joshua has had all that smugness knocked right out of his face. No grinning and leering now. This became hard work in that last round for Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's gotten on the jab here. Let's see. You want to see him just be rhythmic with it. Use that jab, use the feints with it. The way John, the way White was actually doing it. Paulie, I think Joshua came out for the second round thinking the job was done. And it wasn't done, and he got himself in trouble. Yeah, Concentration is so important here, at heavy, especially in the heavyweight division. And it's White that's shown a bit of confidence here. I wonder if he'll continue to attack the body. He sunk two or three really good left hooks in the midsection. Clearly hurt Joshua. Good hand speed there from White. Yeah, it's just about mixing your shots. It's not, you don't have to put hurtful punches out every time. Just mix your shots, vary your offense. And you can have that trickery and keep the guy guessing what he's doing trying to put a jab to the stomach so Joshua lowers his hands and then put the right hand up to the head Joshua lands a swinging left hook but White has soaked up a lot of Joshua's best shots already and is still there one thing I don't like Joshua's doing he's allowing White to be first constantly you, you want to be first they use the jab first you know it's, it's always White initiating yep he's looked slow and kind of heavy legged Joshua as I say he's never had to fight like this before I and I wonder if all that kind of muscle bound yeah. stuff. Yeah, and I think he's looking too much, thinking of too much about throwing a big shot. Sometimes just use that jab, see what it opens up for you. You know, yeah, use that jab right there. You know, maybe it'll open up the big shot eventually. I think he's thinking too much about the big shot. Look at his breathing, guys. He's blowing. This is a guy that's never been past three. He's never worked up a sweat before. He's being dragged into something here, and it's Dylan White that's doing the dragging at the moment. I don't think Joshua likes where this is going. Now, can White keep this up? Another question. We've never seen Joshua go this many rounds. As, as the fight progresses, will he keep his power? Or will the power diminish, especially for the body shots? Paul, I've never even seen him taking punches before. I've never seen him getting hit. He's in everything completely his own way. Not tonight. Yeah, and again, as, as the fight weighs out and he, and he starts you know, fatiguing and taking those body shots, will his power be the same? We'll find out. Well, you keep talking about the jab, Paulie. That's there for Dylan White all night because yeah, Joshua's it, head movement is non-existent. Yeah, and it's also just keeping Joshua busy. He's not able to set up his own offense if he's being jabbed at, and he's got to be defensive on the jab. Again, a look downstairs from Dylan White. Nice Joshua looks for Joshua. the response, though. He gets it. Decent straight jab from Joshua as well. But White grits his teeth, soaks it up. He's really in this thing. Already the longest fight Anthony Joshua's been in. Yeah, and what a fight it's been. He's having to fight for survival every second. A terrific effort from White. And Jonathan Banks very animated in the white corner. He's too stiff, Jim. He's too stiff with his even when he throws that jab. Anthony Joshua's just a bit too stiff. Is a massive, massive upset brewing here.
Round four. Anthony Joshua has never been here. Dylan White has once. Solid left hand to start with from Joshua. I think with the power that Joshua has, it's more important for White to remain disciplined on his game plan. When you have the kind of power Joshua has, sometimes you can straight from the plan, although you'd like to see him stay disciplined. But White has to stay disciplined all the time. And Joshua's timing his punches is much better in this round. His timing is pretty non-existent in the previous round, but this is better. But he Argus. still hasn't got rid of White. White is still nipping away at him. Like, I like what White just did there. He didn't throw a punch, but he stepped into Joshua's chest, initiated the clinch so he could back him up in the clinch. That way he got himself off the ropes. Yeah, and he's keeping his chin out of harm's way. He's, he's been caught maybe high in the head, but not the chin. Joshua's starting to try to get the timing on the jab of White. He's trying to come over the top of the right hand. We'll see if he eventually finds a target. I've seen him try it a few times already. The part of this is for a little bit easier for Joshua is that White has slowed down. And he just tried to launch an assault there that uh, lacked any kind of cohesiveness at all. White then does land a right hand counter because it was Joshua was horribly short with his attack as well. Good work, good work there from Joshua. Yeah, nice combination as well. Better again from Joshua, but again White soaks it up straight back in front of him. Did you see that? Right back in his face. Yeah, he doesn't want to give up that mental edge. The psychology of a fight so important. Well, White hasn't gone as far as proving Joshua's a fake yet. Not at all again. A slip from the legs as Joshua took, uh, Joshua landed again, but again, White bouncing straight back at him. White's taking the punches exactly. better now. Exactly, yeah, these are the punches that Joshua's been knocking people out with, White's taking them, and he's still in there and coming back. That's what I mean, as the rounds progress, how will Joshua's power hold up? That was the question. I will give Dillian White uh, credit, too, with the chin he's got. He's got a terrific chin. Uh, whatever the result here, Paulie and Jim, I don't know if you'd agree with this, Dylan White has already shown enough to suggest he could well be a force. He's still very young himself in the pro game. Here comes Joshua again. Absolutely. Yeah, he's shown smart defence, White, keeping the hands up, getting the chin down, taking the punches that he can't avoid on the forehead. Yeah, it's clever stuff. And the longer you keep Joshua in the ring, the longer the longest fight of his career goes. And that can play the mind games too. You can see what we, you know. You can see what kind of reactions you get from Anthony Joshua. Don't forget, Paulie. In a few seconds, Dylan White's going into uncharted territory too. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. they bought new territory for both of them. Yeah. Again, a punch on the bell has upset Dylan. Round five. How many people predicted we'd hear that tonight? Not many. The bookies were convinced it was a Joshua win inside four. All the ringside experts, their bets have gone up in smoke. Interesting what Carl Frotch said earlier when he said he talked to Anthony Joshua and got the sense that AJ wanted some rounds, but I'm sure Carl would agree he didn't want them quite like this. This is torrid. This is tough. And it's draining, and it's White still on the offensive and still scoring. Big, big right hand. Joshua, when he does connect. Joshua stole the combination from White. That was a combination White was using. Jab to the stomach, right hand to the head. White felt it. But again, he's taken it. Joshua, slow, methodical now. Yeah, I think Josh has got his mind back on the job. I think earlier he thought the job was done. He was a little bit careless, but I think now he knows his career, well, this stage of his career is on the line. So he's back to showing a bit of discipline and thinking what he's doing now. Yeah, I think he's settled into the fact that this fight will go rounds. So he's got to maintain a game plan and be smart. That's much better again from Joshua. Terrific counters. 
but certainly the notion that he can blast his way through Dylan White has gone. He's having to pick his shots, and he's doing just that. This is a really good round for Joshua. Yeah, he's timing his punches so much better than a couple of rounds ago. This is a, a real good job he's doing now. You can tell from his body language that he's he's uh, he's released the fact that he was looking for a knockout, and he's just trying to be technical. He's trying to win the rounds and see if it leads to a knockout later in the fight. Well, I thought two rounds ago, Paulie, I think we talked about it, his body language looked terrible, as you say. Yeah. He's refocused, at least. Yeah, he kind of he re energized himself. You know? Sometimes you got to make the adjustment. That's part of fighting a 12-rounder. Nice right hand by Joshua. That's part of fighting these 10, 12-round fights. You know, it's, it's uh, something you got to make adjustments on the fly. Well, it's a massive learning experience, this, for both of them, isn't it? It really is. Neither of them have had it easy tonight. And it's been pretty easy for both of them thus far. Oh, good body shot. Yes, Joshua picking all the good shots at the moment. White not throwing back much at all. And we talked about earlier in the fight how White was always first. Now Joshua starting to take the tempo away from White. And he's doing a good job of yeah, getting off the numbers of punches. And White is breathing very, very heavily now. And I think White is kind of volunteering to, to, to move back. He's not been driven back by Joshua. I think he's running out of steam. The body shots that he's had to take, the powerful head shots as well, they definitely sap it out of you. But full credit to him, what a show he's putting up here. Yeah, well, this is the kind of fight that's testing both guys mentally, but I think both guys will come become better fighters off of an experience like tonight. Well, I thought it'd be all over in two. I'm not not alone. So did David Hay. David, we've been proved wrong, haven't we? What do you make of this? We definitely have um, Dylan White has come in for... believe this round six Anthony Joshua as well at a storm he's landed some terrific shots on Dylan White White has soaked it all up yeah in a couple of rounds he was doing not too bad himself I feel a bit of damage weight it's been Josh, a terrific effort from him Joshua made an adjustment to that right hand he's getting underneath it now as opposed to before he was going straight back so he's either hitting him or at least driving him back Doing a better job of not losing ground on the jab. Even when White jabs at him, Josh is maintaining his distance. That way he's able to counter back like that. Yeah, and Josh is looking a bit more comfortable than he was a couple of rounds ago as well. Of, of he, look, he looks in grab school, that was low. It was. Just to amplify what you were saying, White, White is really struggling to land clean, isn't he? Yeah, Josh is keeping him at the, the, the range that he wants him at. Just a second ago, White tried the same shot that hurt Joshua in round two. They're catching that jet right, right hand in the jab and throwing the left hook, but Joshua was smart enough to catch it. That accuracy and that hand speed are back for Joshua now. These combinations are ripping through Dylan White's defenses. Again, White soaking it all up. Now, these were just going to arm punches that uh, White was throwing there. I think he's really feeling the pace. Huge effort, I think the body shots have knocked some out of him as well. Ah, oh, terrific! Needs but, a few more of those. But Joshua took that one really well. No distress flares went up when that right hand landed. You, you wondered about Joshua's power and how that would hold up, Paulie. You wonder what kind of power White is still carrying at this stage. And again, Joshua finding it too easy to tag him at the moment. But White, to his in <laughs> commendable credit, Keeps firing back every time he does get tagged. And look at this, giving it a go again. I'll tell you what, even if Joshua's not throwing the thunder that he was before, he's still boxing nicely in spots. But every round this fight goes is testing both guys more and more mentally. Neither guy has gone this far, and it's just they have to dig deeper and deeper. Even Joshua was winning the fight. Well, Joshua will find out, it's finding out tonight what the game is all about. It was everything's too much his own way up to now. This is totally different. He's having to fight for every success he gets here. 
That's oh. it. So welcome to pro boxing in a way. Yep. And what are we finding out about Dylan White, guys? Are we looking at a potential contender in this division? I agree. I, I, he's made a name for himself tonight, no matter how this fight ends. Tagged there with a beautiful right-hand counter. And again, Joshua can't shift him. And then a switch from body to hand again from Joshua. What a good fight this is. Way, way better than any of us were expecting, let's be honest. Win. You might be going on holiday somewhere tomorrow. <laughs> Don't jinx it just yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, a long way to go. But who would have believed this? Yeah, do not adjust your set. Round seven. We never ask for a scorecard from Jim Watt when Anthony Joshua is working. There's our first one ever. Joshua in control but far from comfortable. And we're only halfway through. It's actually not accurate in my scorecard. I actually have given White uh, two rounds. I think we're, we can adjust that. I mean, I got, I got, I give White, because obviously the round when he hit oh, oh, got him. Terrific. Finally got him. Is this the breakthrough? White looking to hold on. And this time he is holding, unlike he did in round one. Rocked by that big right hand. Joshua looking to size him up. Gets another right hand through. White looking to try and hold, lands a right hand of his own. Terrific response again from White. He's in shape. I tell you, to get through all this stuff, he's in shape. Incredible that White is still there. Joshua not letting him off the hook. Howard Foster having a close look now. But as long as White returns fire once in a while, which he is doing, Foster but look at the legs. There's a grin from White, but the legs are betraying him, and down he goes. He's hurt. The way surely, he surely no way up here. For Dylan White, it's stopped, it's over. Dramatic and unbelievable at the finish. Joshua asked a lot of questions tonight, came up with the answer when it mattered, and it was a brutal finish. I think White's still trying and to White's get out. still in some distress. I don't think, I think he thinks the fight's still going on. He's trying to beat the count. Well, they've, they've got the paramedics in there with the oxygen. I think it's just the fight has played. He doesn't want to be on the floor. The force let me stay on the floor. Well, the, it's just a precaution. They've given him oxygen. That was an energy sapping fight. He is exhausted and he's hurt. So the, the medics are doing the right thing. But full credit to Anthony Joshua. He turned it on when it was needed. White's still on the floor. Oh, that answers the question about whether Joshua was going to maintain his power as the rounds progressed. Absolutely. He did it in resounding fashion. Just listen to that reaction. The reception from a packed O2 arena. It was not plain sailing tonight. But the buzz, the hype that is building around Anthony Joshua, fight by fight, just took another big leap forward. What is 2016 going to bring for this man? White is on his feet, being led back to his corner, which is good to see. Yeah, and such a grueling fight that the punch resistance is not quite the same. I mean, White, over the last couple of rounds, you can see White, he was giving it all, he was, he was busting a gut to stay in the fight. He wasn't really making any impression on Joshua, but the courage he was showing and the toughness, but, but, but it was going against him. And at that stage in this kind of fight, and the punch resistance maybe not quite what it was when, when you were a little bit stronger, but what a terrific effort to put on. You get a real sense that meant so, so much to Anthony Joshua. <laughs> Credit to Dylan White. What an effort, what a performance. That was, a, that was an entertaining fight. Oh, it really was. And remember, there was, a, there was a point there, and I think the second round, guys, we thought, hello, are we, are we in for yeah. a real big shot? Yeah. I mean, uh, 
Adam White had some really good moments in that second round. But Joshua answered some questions. He's going to get those questions, of course, the more he goes up. This fight, in terms of the big picture, will do his career no harm again. Let's have another look at the finish. It was clinical. The shot that it was a right hand from the side as opposed to the one two straight right hand so that kind of surprised white yeah they caught him in the temple as well and quite often that's the punch the toughest guys you've ever seen get caught there and it scrambles their brains but you see it's, a, it's an unorthodox shot usually the right hand comes straight he throws it from around the side and he kind of shocked white he didn't see it coming yeah but that's a, that the same punch in the jaw it might drop you if it doesn't you can recover from it quickly but the, the side of the head there, no, yep. it just scrambles your brains and you don't recover from it and you never got the chance to recover from it. Yep. Full credit the way he caught with it, he grabbed hold, he ducked, he dived, then when the time was right he tried to throw back. But by that point, in an exhausting fight, I think it had been knocked out of him. And there's the finisher, terrific uppercut. You knew there was no way back from that. Yeah, you could tell the way he went down, he, he was lifeless right in front of us as well it was a wicked shot to finish with a lot of pent-up frustration in that uppercut and it just destroyed Dylan White yeah the power the strength the energy when he finally fully got and topped poured it on Terrific finish from Joshua. Full credit. We're giving a lot of credit to White. Obviously, he deserves it. But we've got to give it to Joshua. He's the man who came out on top. Did what had to be done. Well, it's so good to see Joshua winning tough rather than winning easy, isn't it? We've had the easy wins. We've enjoyed the, the highlight reel knockouts. He really had to dig in here against an opponent who wanted it just as much as he did. That's what it means to him. For the record, he adds the British heavyweight title to the Commonwealth crown. Following the likes of Lennox Lewis, will he follow Big Lennox and become a world champion? Following in the footsteps of Tyson Fury as well. That's for the future. Right now, he can celebrate winning the British title, the long-style belt. But there's a lot to reflect on from this night in the Joshua camp. And for Dylan White, he can certainly come again. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute, 27 seconds, round number 7. The winner by knockout victory, now 15 and 0, oh, 15 KOs, and he is the unified Commonwealth and British heavyweight champion, the fighting pride of the UK, Joshua Anthony.